Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the final week of this campaign. If you guys have not gotten the USS Tulsa yet, make sure you grab that Admiralty backing or finish those missions and pick her up. Um, she is not a must-have ship in my opinion, but, you know, being the humble rex you know XP record holder that I, <laughs> I am, I think she's a, a, a pretty good ship. Um, but that being said, because this is the final week of this campaign, you guys know that the following week will be the next update. And the War to Warships Legends uh, media team has been dropping, you know, multiple hints across all of their platforms, uh, Discord included. So I will include the links to their Discord as well as mine if you guys want to be in my Discord, ask me a few questions regardless. Um, and also make sure you, if, you know, the Legends Discord will be in there as well just to, so you guys can grab this type of information. But basically they put this image up and they, you know, gave us the outline of a ship and they're like, who is this? So a huge shout out to Dakota for grabbing me these images and also figuring out that this ship looks pretty close to the Giuseppe Verde. Now again, all this information is speculation. I have not gotten the patch notes yet, but it looks like this is the most likely uh, candidate for the next campaign. And we have the Water Warships wiki on this ship here. It is basically a Marco Polo. Um, and it, when I say Marco Polo with, with HE, the Marco Polo already has HE, so I don't know what the difference is. Now the Marco Polo does have the access to the SAP, but you add like eight seconds to your reload, and I'm being sarcastic about that, I think it's five, but it's just not worth it to add the, the SAP, in, in all honesty. You've got like a 36 second reload, which is just atrocious, but um, hopefully this will be a better variant of that. Uh, it's got 406s with a 31 second reload, so with a few battleship commanders, you could probably get that down to 27. You couple that with some good SAP secondaries, and you could have an even better uh, um, Lepanto. Uh, so maybe we'll see the secondaries SAP with improved pen angles. So uh, on top of that, we also get access to the exhaust smoke generator. I'm not sure if I'm overly excited that this ship is coming to Legends. Legends desperately needs some legendary tier cruisers. And I have a little conspiracy theory or a little thought um, that I will maybe make into another video. But we also might drop it at the end of this one. End of this one who knows? Um, but regardless of that, this is the most likely next campaign. On top of that, we also know that the USS Congress was spotted in live server testing. Uh, and if you guys know, uh, a tier 7 premium is, is basically dropped in every update. For example, the USS San Diego was given this in this update. And I, I only have like three games in that ship, but let's be honest, that ship is just absolutely terrible. I probably need to play a few more and, and get maybe a decent reload and do an honest review on it, but I, I am just so uninterested to play that ship i don't know the sap on the 152s yes it will absolutely obliterate destroyers but um basically you're just an up-tiered atlanta without a cheese so, um yeah I, I don't know there, there's just something about that ship that just doesn't work for me now some people have fun you know playing ships like that and and being at a disadvantage as soon as the game starts but in some games i i just want to have a little more uh you know dpm or or, you know, access to, to do something when my team inevi inevitably folds around me. But uh, it looks like we're going to get the Giuseppe and the Congress. The Congress is basically a down-tier Alaska. We just got the down-tier Des Moines. And, uh, well, I'll go ahead and drop my hint. I, I, I was kind of saving it for another video, but we'll talk about it. Speaking of the down-tier Des Moines in the Salem and in the um, Tulsa and the down-tier Alaska, I think with Legends not releasing a bureau project that after this campaign or soon to follow that we will be getting legendary tier campaigns. Don't quote me on that. I don't have the patch notes. This is all speculations. I haven't gotten any leaks from super testers or anyone, but uh, that's just a guess. I see where this game is going. I'm really, I really enjoy legends. Now I'm not going to lie. I'm not excited at all for this campaign, but it looks like we're also getting training rooms next update. They did the same thing with fleets. You know, we've already talked about this in a different video. And they also released another teaser for the training rooms. Uh, it looks like you can have select your time here, select your map. Now, if I'm being honest, I wish we could go longer than 15 minutes. Also, I don't see the ocean map. So, you know, those details are soon to come. Hopefully, I will get the patch notes and it will be that there's three Bureau projects, the Hindenburg, the Zhao, the Venezia, the Z-52. I don't know. Um, I've, I've made... I've, I've asked you guys multiple times what ships you guys want to see. I, Legends, the development team has to know that we want legendary tier cruisers. I don't, I don't know what else. Like, if, if we don't get one soon, even in a campaign form, like, what, why? 
I, I used to be against that. They they did a legendary tier campaign in the past. The Mino, if you guys don't remember, if you weren't around, um, and I and I was against it at the time. But now I'm just like, bring it in, right? Because it's it's a way for me to get the ships faster. We all know that the bureau is absolutely atrocious, and it just takes like six months to get ships in the game. And of course, you know, War Gaming has monetized it, but. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know what you think of this ship. Again, this is probably the next campaign. Hopefully it, it is a better, you know, Lepanto. I don't know how you could have a better Lepanto, but 406s with Italian AP is, you you get that extra layer of overmatch. Um, but you do, you do lose a barrel. There's only nine guns. But anyway, I will link my personal Discord as well as the Legends Discord. So again, a huge shout out to Dakota. Thank you, buddy. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have a great weekend. Make sure you pick up that Tulsa. Hopefully training rooms on the horizon and more legendary cruisers as well. But uh, you guys have a great Sunday or Monday whenever I post this. Hey, run out. Peace.